Hello there and welcome back to another video with me, Soulful. How are you guys doing? I hope it's well. I have been busy, busy, busy. My life is super busy, but I just wanted to get in here and do a reading. I've been wanting to for days now. I've been wanting to make videos for months now. I am now starting to have the time to get into that just a little bit here and there. So let's get you guys a reading, okay? First off, all my information is down below. You'll see it in the description box. If you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below direct to my website. And then after you book that email, you'll just, I'll get your receipt and then you can email me your questions or I will be in contact with you right after. I want to say thank you to my regulars, those who are constantly booking with me. I appreciate you. And I want to say thank you to those who are new, old, or if you just stumbled across my channel, welcome. My name is Kendra and I would like to do a reading. So guys, girls, everybody, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm actually going to choose a random card for what sign that I'm going to be pulling for today because I was confused on what energy I wanted to connect with today. So today we're going to actually do something a little bit different, okay? Now, let me just get my deck out of this here. Okay. Guys, I'm feeling nervous and I don't know why. Let's just let's get through this. I, I have been so busy lately. Okay, let's take a look. What messages does the collective need to hear today? What messages does the collective need to hear today? This card wants to come out. Okay, it looks like we're going to be doing reading for cancer today. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> oh my goodness, my son, the sun is getting in the way. One second. Okay, that looks a little bit better. You can still kind of see it. So we're doing it for the sign of cancer today. We're going to see what messages come through for cancer. And we will just lead by design, okay? I do want to let you guys know as I'm getting these cards ready that I'm going to be uploading more videos talking about my personal story, okay? I'm feeling called to actually open up more about myself. This is something I have not done yet on my channel and I feel like it's important, it's pertinent. Things are heating up in our world and I really want to extend to all of you the knowledge, the wisdom, and the information that I have to help you in these times, not just through tarot, okay? All right, tell me, what messages does Cancer need to hear? What do they need to hear today? What does Cancer need to hear today? This is really impromptu, I want you guys to know that. So a door to value. Pull two more cards. Attachment. And anxiety in reverse. All right, Cancer, so this is what I have for you guys today. I feel as though you have had quite an attachment to money, okay? Not in a bad way, in a way that you've needed to. You have been highly focused. You've been, you know, claiming what is yours is what I'm hearing. Claiming my money bags, okay? But there is something attached to this, okay? When I see anxiety in reverse is that you have, while you have created your own stability, your own foundation in your life, there has been perhaps too much attachment to this. You, It's released fears around your stability. It's released a lot of um, just anxiety, a lot of emotions you may have had around your own life. It could be family life that you've been trying to create a sta stable atmosphere. However, I feel this is clouded a little bit. It's with this attachment card. I feel it's clouded your uh, other areas of your life. It could be your emotions. It could be your emotional life. It could be the way that you just handle yourself in reality. But that's that that this cancer energy I'm feeling, even the card I accidentally put it in in the opposite. I feel like it's out of your element. Okay. There's something about the 
way you handled your stability and building your foundation in your life that you have become overly attached to. So the area where you feel in a flow with the water side of yourself has actually suffered quite a bit. So let's take a look. What do we have in the shadow? In the shadow, we have caring connections. This is something about friendship. Okay, friendship, camaraderie, tribe. Okay, tribal. I'm hearing the word tribe a lot. Um, in the shadow is your friendships. Um, hmm. I'm hearing that your friendships have suffered. Okay, the way that you've connected with others or the way that you've connected to your loved ones has suffered due to whatever this stability you've been creating. For some of you, I'm hearing you have been creating something big, um, long lasting or attempting to create something that's kind of your your um, your modus operandi or your uh, your great work even. OK, some people will say that or, you know, you have been so you have deep, yes, I'm hearing deep dive. You went on to a deep, into a deep dive of creating something. And this has unfortunately created a shadow aspect where now you're starting to see certain relationships fall apart or you're starting to realize that, okay, these people support me. These people don't. This person loves me. This person doesn't. This person is with me. This person is not. So now I, I want to say this, okay, Cancer, I want to say this, whatever it is that you have been creating or, or doing, whether it was a relationship in your life that took precedence, um, which can happen. Okay. It could be our family needs our help. There are times when things have to happen that we have to make decisions, right? We have to make a decision on our priority. What is more important? What do we need to take care of before we, you know, frolic in the fields of fancy, right? <laughs> so what I'm, what I'm, I'm getting just this real, uh, like I'm free, but now something else has cropped up and is suffering. And it has a lot to do with who's on my side. OK, I feel like you're, you're struggling with this. You're struggling with realizing who your tribe is, who your friends are, who the people are that actually support your endeavors and support your creativity, because you may have. I'm also hearing this cancer. You may have created a reality of determination and strength uh, by uh, creating value in your life, when you when you open that door to to uh, a constant state of cash flow, um, it changes you. It changes your signature. It changes your reality. The way that you create it, the way that you birth it, and whatever it is that you've birthed here, um, you're wondering where's my where's my family? What is actually happening here? One moment. My dog just came in the room. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay. So what I want to do now is go ahead and dive into tarot because I want to get some deeper uh, understanding as to why, you know, this is why this is coming up for you. Why this seems to be something you need to hear. Okay. Something about... In entertainment, okay? I don't know if you're uh, creating something entertaining for others or if you are also working on trying to... Uh, I'm hearing them distractions. You're trying to also distract yourself from something, okay? This could be the emotions, the emotional field here with anxiety. You could just be feeling like, I got to release this, I've got to release certain people or yeah, you need, you need guidance is what I'm hearing. There's definitely a need for guidance source. Tell me about this. Uh, let's tell cancer actually, uh, tell the cancer about door to value door to value. I don't know why there's this nervous energy right before I connected to your energy. It could just be me because I've been so long since I've done this and I don't generally connect to the collective as much as I used to cancer. So I've been in a different spiritual place, but an entirely different place. Uh, so yeah, this is, my, my channel suffered. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. 
Six of Pentacles. So this is more about having enough. Okay, having enough to create uh, stability for others. So when we do this, and I'm sure you understand this, Cancer. I'm hearing that you're actually a very wise person. Okay, this is coming through as more of a confirmation, this, this reading for you, that you have been looking in the right direction, but because you've been looking in that direction, um, you maybe maybe you wanted to originally create this for those that were actually already around you. But as, as you changed, as your reality field changed, as everything you were doing was beginning to shift, uh, the needs of the people around you shifted. Okay, the needs of yourself shifted. So those perhaps you wanted to help that were less fortunate or that you felt needed your guidance has changed. Okay, or needed your creative endeavors. That's changed. So original alliances or original um, friendships that you thought would be there for the long haul may need to be looked at as, okay, my friend, what do you need? Is it my ear? Is it because if it's money, uh, you know, that they want, perhaps that need has shifted. Maybe you don't want to. Maybe you want to help in another way. Right. But you are abundantly flowing here with enough to give not only of money, quite perhaps. And I'm not saying go give your money away. OK, <laughs> you make an informed decision on what it is that you want to do with this reading. OK, if you want to give your money to charity or to somebody, be my guest. I'm just saying you got to work the field that you've created now. Now you're in a totally different position. And when you shift your position in reality to something completely different than what you were before, the needs of those around you may be different. And the needs uh, that are presenting themselves may be different. Whatever it is you were doing before may have changed. Maybe the, your needs have changed and therefore those around you don't quite get you or they don't quite understand what it is that you need now, right? There's a lot of growth here. I'm hearing uh, so much that you're just overflowing and perhaps you don't know which direction to put it in. Tell us more. Tell us about this attachment card. I want to know about this. Justice in the reverse. Whew. All right, Cancer. So whatever it is that you do in life, whether it's creating content, working a career, a job, a therapist, whatever you are, okay, I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm hearing that you were attached, you've been attached quite a long time to the emotions of injustice, feeling to, to yourself that um, whatever it is you're doing, you have a right. I have a right to do this. I have a, uh, a desire to, to right the wrongs of, um, some of you guys may be in the justice field or you feel like you are, like you feel like whatever you're doing, it has a purpose, okay? And I feel like over time, Perhaps you haven't, um, how do I want to put this? Uh, you have got your point across, but now perhaps the injustice that you're trying to, you're trying to write, okay, with your creations or with your, your life goals, um, has changed. Now we're being called to shift the scales, to a different direction, to something that actually means more to your heart is what I'm hearing. Something that means more to your deeper understanding of who you are on a base core level so that you can get back to your flow. There's something about your flow uh, that was interrupted. Okay. It was majorly interrupted and this created an attachment perhaps to the money or the stability or the mission or the goal, right? Uh, that was unhealthy. And I think you are realizing this, especially with the, in, in the shadow aspect, we've got caring connections in your shadow. You're not feeling like those around you really give a damn. You may be isolating yourself a bit, Cancer. What do we have? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. All right. So we've got earth energy, feminine earth energy here. Okay. We've got 
uh, a selfishness, a greed. Uh, I'm not saying you're selfish. I'm not saying you're greedy. I'm saying a very self-involved energy here that was needed. Okay? This is your energy right now. You're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is more of a... Um, uh, an energy of self-care in, in the sense of I've got my own and I'm going to take care of my own and myself, right? This is, this is how you released certain emotional fears. The, the, the things you create or the things that you work on daily or your soul purpose, like I said, it could be anything with this reading, right? C connecting to random people, you know, it's, uh, that's why I prefer to do personal readings. Okay. So if you feel any of this is resonating, you can, you know, link below, we can actually go deeper. All right. These are more of a preview. These readings are more of a preview of what it is that I can do as a mystic to help you through this. Okay. So when it, when it comes to the queen of pentacles, all right, there is an urgency here to open up your energy from one of isolating your own goal to, to you were super focused. That's what I'm hearing. You were super focused and this may have attracted greedy individuals towards you. This may have attracted people who only saw you for a specific reason, uh, create, creating something or, you know, working your, your daily life it blinds, it blinds us to, you know, other avenues or other aspects of being. Perhaps part of you had to be in this mode because you were so attached to, you know, like your mission, right? Or your goal or your relationship. So Cancer, I really feel like for you, um, balance in this area is is incredibly incredibly vital for you if you want to restore certain relationships or friendships um something about that right now is being affected tell me about the shadow please we don't know about the shadow aspect for cancer what what is this about the shadow aspect this is something buried quite deep We've got the hangman, okay? Very important card right now. Uh, Knight of Wands in reverse, and I feel called to pull another one, the tower. <sighs> cancer, cancer, cancer. I feel like recently you have been forced to observe... Uh, not only your behavior, but the behavior of a certain individual here with the Knight of Wands in reverse. There is, uh, I'm hearing, I don't want to say betrayal here with the Tower, but it's very close to a betrayal or um, a change that you weren't ready for. That someone you knew, okay, someone close to you or someone that helped you um, has forced you to not only reevaluate but reassess your, your yourself and how you connect with individuals okay i feel like someone someone in this knight of wands and reverse energy there there there's something wrong there's something wrong with them and you're watching it unfold my goodness this is why caring connections is in the shadow you're trying to avoid a truth or avoid a person or something or someone. You're trying to avoid them and you're hoping they gain a higher understanding, um, an ancestral understanding that that they maybe perhaps once had. I'm not sure. What is this? I, I don't know what this means. <laughs> um, some of you guys might be spiritual, okay? Or you might be... Like myself, you know, you might be um, someone who's very wise or understands concepts. Um, someone has grasped onto something that is not their usual course of action. And it shocked you. This is shock. This has shocked you. Someone you love, someone you care for. 
Um, they may be a fire sign. I'm hearing Sagittarius, Aries. Okay. I'm leaning more heavily towards Sagittarius. Something has forced you into this Pisces sort of uh, observation wisdom mode where you're watching someone have a very, like a tower moment. And this is making you go, who, who am I surrounded with? What is going on? It's shocking. This is a tower moment you didn't expect. Ace of Pentacles uh, on the bottom of the deck here. This has created a questioning energy of how you you form your relationships or your friendships. Do these people really care about me? Yeah, there is a lost opportunity you're trying to shove down and forget about, or maybe you're trying to not focus on, and you're hoping that the other person realizes the whatever it is they've done is is affecting your guys' friendship or your love. Okay, or they're Tell me about this Knight of Wands in the reversal. Yeah, strength in reverse. You used to rely on this person. You used to rely on them. They were someone that you went to for advice. Or it was a spiritual friend. Or it was someone that just... You felt, you're you like, what is this? Okay? Um, you feel like they've lost their will. Someone's losing. They're, they're in an energy here. This Knight of Wands. Tell me more. Tell me more. What is Cancer seeing? Page of Swords. Five of Cups. Ooh, Cancer. I'm so sorry. So, uh... <sighs> this person has changed their level of relationship towards you. Okay. They've changed the way that the dynamic unfolds. And because of that, you're mourning them. So this has caused a shakeup. This has caused a shakeup in your life. You feel like you've lost something. And I understand. I understand this. Okay, this makes sense. So, you know, while you have your stability, while you have what it is that you've created, there's a deep sense of loss. There's a deep sense of, of losing something you thought was, you know, like cemented in reality. Nothing is ever cemented in reality. Um, I can tell you for sure, based on my experience and based on my esoteric knowledge, that when an individual um, shifts their energy so drastically... Something is going on. That's what Source is telling me. Something is going on. And you may already know what it is um, with them internally. They, ha I'm getting the feeling that they have perhaps lowered their communication level with you. And now you feel like they're lost. This is the energy I'm seeing. This person's energy when I connect to it. Um through the gateway is telling me someone is lost and you don't know what to do or at least you feel this way about them okay Whew, that's tough cancer so i don't want you to walk away from this reading feeling like uh you know <laughs> like bummed out so i want to get you some good advice let's take a look at the moon okay i want to see what the moon energy here is uh, for advice what does the moon have to say? What does the moon have to say? Uh, a fiery climax approaches. So Aries energy. Hmm. I feel like there may be a confrontation that's happening or you're confronting people or about this individual or, you know, you are kind of like <laughs> on the verge of confronting them or on the verge of burning away this connection. Like you felt like, why, why should I be stuck with this connection? Um, I'm mourning it. It's burning away. Um, a fiery climax. You may feel like fighting this person. I don't know how much of it, you know, there's something about this where you just feel like, what the heck? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, uh, tell me more. Tell me more. You may want to fight on this person's behalf for some reason. Like, you want to fight for them. Um, 
you're very close to achieving your goal. Okay, and then I want to get one more here. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. We have Scorpio energy. It's time to release negativity. All right, Cancer. So this is my advice. My or oracle advice here is this. Okay. You may feel like this connection has been burned away by the external. Like there is something that has happened outside of you you don't know about that you weren't privy to. Okay. A situation where this person changed up on you. And now you're forced to observe how they act in reality or how they behave towards you or those they love. And um, you're being told here that whatever action you take uh, to create, you know, a, a better situation for yourself after the outset of what happened here is going to require releasing it. Okay. It's going to require releasing uh, any kind of force of control over how it unfolds. I know that you want to fight. I really get that vibe. Like I really just, I want to do something about this with this Aries energy here. Um, but with this gibbous moon, um, I feel like you're also on the verge of, you know, understanding yourself better, creating something new, or you're creating something in your work field, or there's a, there's a job, there's a person, there's something new that, uh, is about to birth into reality. And if you bring yourself closer to this person and you try to help them or try to change the outset or the outcome in reality around you, uh, exoterically, okay, it's going to be harder and more work than you think. You might even get, um, completely blocked here, blocked out of their energy because they've got something deep going on. Okay. And now with it's time to release negativity, Scorpio energy, this is about letting it go. Okay. This is about the death. All right. The, not that they're dying. That's not what I mean. Okay. But it is out of your hands. There are certain things you may be feeling like you can do, but right now, in the current time frame, with this energy, okay, the higher force, uh, source, whatever it is that you believe to be a contributor to creating a better outcome is, in, is, is more important without you acting it out in reality and trying to come up against this person face to face. Because if you do, it's going to cause a lot more fire. Uh, that Aries fire, it's great. It's great for fighting. It's great for combat, right? But it gets out of control very fast. Okay? So this is my message to you. And that is, let go. Because something with this tower here is falling apart for a reason in this individual's life. There is a, there's a, there's a reason that you don't know yet. Okay. That doesn't mean let them go forever and you're done. It just means there is something that has not been revealed to you yet as to why this person has done what they've done or changed up on you or cheated on you or moved away or whatever it is that they've done. Okay. Whatever. It's not up to you it, with with this energy with them that's going on you are the hangman okay think about the hangman the story of the hangman okay it's very important to you for some reason right now i'm hearing that i'm actually being called to pull one more card um yes we want to pull from this This is my uh, soul, what's it called? Soul truth, okay. Tell me one more card, please. What does cancer need to hear? What does cancer need to hear? I keep seeing a forest. Um, I keep um, seeing like a green car. I don't know what this is about. Someone may want a green car. 
I'm hearing tie your shoes. Tie your shoes, brother. I don't know what that means. Okay, so let's see. What am I grateful for right now? You see what I'm saying? This is about what you already have. Okay, is this fight worth it? Okay. Adopt an abundance mindset. Gratitude is the antidote to all our problems. It is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our heart, and changes our state. Today's soul action. The universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives that on which we are focused. So close your eyes, put your hands on your heart, and think of three things for which you are grateful for today. And notice the abundance growing within you. Cancer, stay true to your heart, okay? Stay true to what your heart knows about this person. The truth will always be shown eventually. It will be